What's up, other truckers? You are now watching the Asian My Show live. What's going on, other truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. Today, we are here with Life of Joshua Trucking and Banking. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing pretty good, sir. How you doing, brother? Hey, I'm chilling, man. Hey, I'm glad to have you on the show. You know, on the Asia Mind Show, we just love to elevate, talk to people about where they can make some money. And I've been watching your YouTube channel, man. And it, it looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself. And uh, you got a great energy and you're motivating a lot of people. So from that, I'm just like, man, we had to have you on the show. So, you know, first off, I love to show people love because let's be honest. If you're new to the truck and YouTube game and you see anyone show you love at the end of the video, they ain't really showing you love. Okay. So let, let's start that off. Right. You know, uh, let me, let me show your YouTube channel for people that might not have had an opportunity to, uh, check out your channel, uh, life with, uh, Joshua, how do you say your last name, brother? Longino. Longino. What's what's the background with that last name, man? That's a dope ass last uh, it's name. A, it's, 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 it's it's Italian. It's Italian from my ancestors. Oh wow. So okay. So you your background is Italian and uh, uh what is your uh, ethnicity if you don't mind me asking, brother? I'm black, African American. African American. <laughs> okay, I didn't you know African I see the last American. name. Okay, that's cool. That's what's up. That's what's <laughs> up, man. I, I see the last name and I go, okay, okay. I, I like it. You know, it's like uh, it, it, you were meant for fame, brother. <laughs> Longino. Hey, so uh, let's let's talk oh, yeah, about this yeah. real quick. Yeah, Longino, uh, man. Appreciate it. Jump in and uh, let people know why they should subscribe to your channel because I see you doing a lot of lives and, and it seems like you're doing pretty well over here. Uh, take the floor, brother. Oh yeah, well y'all should subscribe to my channel, man, because I, I I'm a motivational uh person. Uh, I want people to rise and grind in this trucking industry. I want people to really just uh understand the life of try to be a uh own operator uh slash coming out of being from a company driver to be an own operator. You know what I'm saying? So if you uh if you willing to to um, take a step, then this might be the channel for you because I will teach you about health, um, finances and trucking. Hey, that's what's up. So if you guys get an opportunity, subscribe to my man, Life with Joshua Longino. So let's jump into this uh, and let's talk about right. this for a second. Is um, let me know your your background with trucking. So what what made you want to be a truck driver? Well, I was working at Nissan. I was uh doing the Altimus, you know, building the Altimus, Nissan Altimus. That, that and, was like uh, one of my first cars. Three and a half years. <laughs> That's what's up. For real? <laughs> yeah. I, I was I was where they actually built the Altimus, yeah, like from the top to the bottom. And I, I went back there to I used to unload trucks and I talked to a truck driver one day and he was telling me how much money he was making. I was looking at the money I was making. I was working forty hours a week, forty to seventy hours a week. I'm gonna bring home forty, six hundred dollars a week. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Okay, so yeah. you you doing your hours and this is important. Uh, to let people know about is there's a lot of people out there working a warehouse job, working uh, a different type of job, but you're over here doing some real mechanic work, building these uh, Nissans up right. from the ground floor. And what was it paying a week? Ten dollars fifty cents an hour. Ten dollars and fifty cents an hour. Yep. Man, man. And so, what did you feel like? I mean, trucking and banking. How'd you feel when some trucker said, "Yo"? You could make more money. I mean, did you feel like that was opening doors, or did you think he was a liar? Like, what were your thoughts about that? You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Well, well, well he, he, you know, he he is always talking big money, big money, because he used to come to the plant every day. He run dedicated, and he was making fifteen hundred a week at home every night. Oh wow! At home every That's day, what's up. fifteen hundred dollars a week. Yeah. Damn! And, and so, uh, did he plug you? All he did was go uh, with Dad, Mississippi to Tennessee and back. Damn, that's what's up. So, did he plug you up, or uh, where'd oh, you uh, start? He, 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 he. No, I I went to Pam Transport, and I got my uh my my CDL through uh, the truck the, the truck driving school CL C one level training in Little Rock, Arkansas. 
And from there, I've been driving 12 years. So um, I have done a reflet and drive van. I have done hot shot. Oh, damn. So wait up. You, you're 12 years in the game? Yeah, 12 years from, yeah. Okay, so for everybody that's watching this right now, uh, my man might be a little bit new to YouTube, correct? Yeah, well, I had a channel before, and I shut it down because of uh, a lot of uh, hatred uh, okay. back and forth. So now, now I got a new channel. Now I don't even care what's going on. So you, everybody can voice their opinion. It is what it is. Hey, I like that. So if you are seeing the life of Joshua and you're seeing him with the new YouTube channel, that might be true, but he got 12 years in the trucking game. So that's what's up, man. So uh, Pam Transport, would you sure. would you recommend that as a spot for a training for a no. new cat or no? <laughs> no? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 Talk Definitely. about it. Talk about Thumbs it real down. quick. <laughs> Thumbs down. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> no, man. but, um, the, the problem was, man, they forced you to team for six months. Now, I don't know if they still do that to, to this day. And it's a, you're splitting 25 cents a mile. So you get 17.5 cents, and they force you to team for six months. Damn. Okay. Now, okay. the truck driving was, uh, school was, was perfect. I mean, I got my license within two weeks. I got my permit the first week. The second week, I got my license, and I was gone. And I went on the truck, the trainer's truck for three weeks. And uh, I've been driving ever since, man. Damn, that's what's up. So, okay, hey, so. Uh -huh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, talk your truth. Uh, I, okay, uh, Pam, Pam Transport. It's it was not a bad company. Um, it just you not you you was not gonna make any money. It's just like when I when I got off the uh the the training with the well, it's not say training, the uh, teammate situation. Uh, I went solo because me and him got into it and. Uh, I went solo and they gave me 25 cents a mile. When I left Pam, I was making 42 cents a mile. Damn. So okay. I was okay. getting raises. I was getting raises. You know, I was doing pretty good. You know, I was, I was on dedicated going back and forth to the same place. But it just I, I I started talking to other drivers. And I'm gonna tell you what happened. I was in Miami. Well, no, I was in Orlando. And uh I was in there telling him, yeah, man, you know, I make 42 cents a mile. And the guy was like, bro, on our break, was like. Dude, you not you making pennies? You show me his check three four thousand. I said what? Oh yeah, brother, I gotta get this. I gotta get away from here, man. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so, tell me this now: if you a new cat or man or woman, whatever, and and you want to get into the mm -hmm. trucking game, where would you recommend them start? Now that you got twelve years mm -hmm. experience, where where should they start at before they really get into this owner operator game? Any thoughts? I, I say I say prime me. Prime has a good school. Prime has um, a lot of a lot of they do they they, they do the things they do for the driver, uh, and they have a nice terminal. You know what I'm saying? And and you can feel at home at Prime Meat. I never worked Prime Meat, but I see that it's a lot of people that loves Prime Meat, and um, everything is on site. You know what I'm saying? So I would say go to Prime. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. So uh, with this now, uh, what company are you with now? I'm with F2F Transport out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Man, how long you been with them for now, brother? Four months. Four months. So four months. Yeah. So mm -hmm. hey, I, I I've been watching your channel. I see a lot of trucking and banking over there. Okay, so so let's talk about this. Uh, <laughs> we we are not sponsored by F2F Transport. I didn't get called. Uh, my man Josh did not get called to talk about this. We just talking about helping people with the money, where to get the trucking and banking bag. Okay, so with that said, uh, how much experience do you need to work there? Two years of experience. You got to be twenty five years old. That's what's up. Any other recommendations for people before they, they think you about jumping on? Well, do your research. Do your research before you go to any company. First of all, you know, uh, because whatever works for me might not work for you. You know what I'm saying? But we're in a situation where we book our own loads. We nego we negotiate the own, our rates and get a rate gun. So F2F doesn't have anything to do with your load. You, you your own boss. This 80 20 split. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. And uh, can you bring your own truck there, or do you have to lease your truck? I mean, what's your positioning on that, brother? 
Well, you gotta you gotta already have a truck because they don't do lease purchase. They they said they was gonna start probably doing a lease purchase in January. Uh, they did do a lease purchase at one time, but the trucks is all filled, and um, so it's best to bring a truck over than been doing a straight lease purchase. Man, so with you with twelve years in the game, Josh, and uh, mm -hmm. you finally found this company four months ago. I mean, how long should someone stay a company driver? Uh, until they jump onto a company like F2F uh, Transport? I'm going to say a year or two years, man. Get your feet wet, man. Save your money. Uh, get you the truck that you want. You know, if it's a cash truck, lease truck, pay it out, whatever it is. Just get your truck and get on with a good company that way you can actually make some good money, you know? Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. So let's let's look at some of this money and and see what uh, people think about this. Uh, first off, I, I do want to say uh, thanks, Alfonso, uh, for the super chat. I appreciate you for that. Uh, so let's look at this money right here, people, because people love to see this stuff. Uh, let's let's jump into this and let me go up a little bit. Can you see the screen, Josh? Yeah, I can see. It. Yeah. Great, great. Um, So now looking at this. Uh, owner operator settlement summary. And, and I thank you so much for this because I know that these type of things are, are very personal things. And I appreciate you showing it on the show so that people just can have some transparency. Right, brother? Right. Devo, no problem. No, I appreciate it, man. So talk to me about this. Like uh, what what kind of uh, what are we looking at right now? What kind of deductions are we looking at? What, what kind of things are we looking uh, at so that other drivers can know? All right. Uh, top, the top is uh, of the settlement is where you get the low, the low gross, and with the low after the twenty percent with the low actually netted, and then you got the diesel to death, um, and then the, the next section it'll be, um, it'll be like your other deductions like your trailer, your plates and stuff like that. But I did I think I did three trips that week, and um, I netted what twenty six hundred something like that. 2600 damn man so okay so when you're looking at 2600 uh uh josh i mean what, what are we looking at like is this something that's average or is this something that's low i mean what kind of numbers is this looking at uh well that's that's not me running balls to the wall you know so i run maybe two or three days three or four days and i'll go home on the weekend so if i mm. if i was the average do like a three thousand mile a week i could i could literally bring home 5k with wow wow so because i'm seeing the i'm seeing it already here order pay uh, you got four thousand one hundred and eight dollars driver's deductions one thousand four hundred and forty so the math there is twenty six hundred i mean dang and and so say that one more time josh i mean you could make like three to four thousand a week oh yes sir easy and and uh be easy to make that because it's just like um I don't work hard, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to run my truck hard, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So at the end of the day, you know, like like this week here, I got one load come out of California, it's going to Virginia, paying $7,200. Mm. So to me, to the truck, it's $5,760. So I'm probably going to use mm. about maybe 700 750 800 800 bucks in diesel. So you take that out, so they'll leave me with a net of about 48 4900 Damn, that's what's up. So For 2,600 miles, you know what I'm saying? Damn, that's what's up, man. So I mean, is it? And it's because you're you're running your loads. You get to pick your loads too, right? And, and you get to control everything. Right. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, I so. Control everything. Man, so I, cause I hear you talking about it now. I watched one of your videos and it looked like you were about to uh, grab another truck too. Is that what it is, or what? What are you doing over there these days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm. I'm 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 gonna go buy the tray. I'm gonna buy me a trailer, uh, cash, brand new 2020. It's gonna be a 2022, um, utility trailer. I'm gonna pick it up in Ridgeland, Mississippi. I'm, I'm gonna be get the title to it. I'm gonna go do the video, or whatever. But uh, then I'm gonna cop another truck. I'm gonna put a team in that truck. So mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do some boss moves. You know, next year coming up, man, we gonna put things in place where we are not. We, we ain't doing nothing but trucking and banking. You feel me? <laughs> hey, trucking and banking. I'm telling you right here, people, like not everyone's out here showing settlements. Uh, I'm sorry about it, but people got to put the the, the, the the mouth where the money is, put that paper on the glass and, and trucking and banking. Uh, you did that today, brother. I mean, 
for people that don't know, people hate. Let's be honest. People are going to hate. When I show my settlements of what I make in the moving game and they see my Corvette, they see whatever, people just start hating already and go, nah, nah, nah. That, that, that's, those are made-up numbers. They don't understand that we've been out here doing it for a while, and most people don't even help people when they're doing well. So what makes you want to help people, brother? Like, What makes you want to motivate people? It, it, it just... It's just compassion, compassion about the whole situation because you got drivers that watch you. I have drivers, people that watch my channel that don't even drive a truck. That's thinking about going to truck driving school or actually in truck driving school and they watch my videos for motivation because they see how I'm moving and how I'm actually out here trucking and banking it's in this real talk. And I, I talked to a guy that's actually driving a forklift right now. He's going to truck driving school. Because he, he's going to truck driving school because he watched my channel. I love it. I love it, man. You know, Yo, what's that to, feeling, though, man? What What's that feeling like, man? Just helping change people's lives, brother. <laughs> what's up with that, man? I love man, this thing. Hey, hey man. Hey, it feel good, man. It feel, it feel good to help somebody. Because a lot of it, some people look over the hatred. And then some people just, you know, we'll just let it roll off their shoulder or whatever. But at the, at the end of the day... It's all about how mm. what you ever whatever you put in is what you get out, and that's that's with anything in life. If you put hard work in, you should be able to see a reward. You see what I'm saying? So that's just how I live my life, man. You know. And I love that. I love that. So it, if someone is out here wanting to get into the trucking game, uh, definitely okay. uh, subscribe to my man here. Uh, check out his channel. Uh, and, and see what's up. We're, we are going to get into some Q&A, but let me just show you some more love, brother, and uh, um, show your channel one last time so that people can see that uh, right here, Life with Joshua. Uh, let's see. We got some some a lot of videos, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, people like consistency. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving to see that beautiful yeah, face, man. That's what's yeah. up, man. And, and, and you know, and now uh, mm. that they're coming from the Asian My Show, uh, it means something because my man here has 12 right. years experience. Okay. He, he's not trying to become some YouTuber right. uh, with right. five months experience. He got 12 years experience and he, he, he said he wanted to show us a, a small paycheck. So he showed us that settlement today of 2,600 net. And so, you know, he's telling us you could make three to four. Uh, and okay. So tell me this, there's a lot of people not making it in the game. What, what are your thoughts about mm -hmm. that? Because, a lot of people aren't trucking and banking. So why do you think that is really? Okay, because of uh, maybe because of dispatch uh, problems or like a lot of people are in a lease, okay, lease purchase, right? And they own a dispatch dispatch kind of system. But if that person was able to go get the, go get a truck and be in a situation that I, I am in, I can book my own loads, I negotiate my rates, it's no way that you can fail. Now you can't fail if you have truck problems, uh, if you're not making any money and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But it, I mean, it's it's a, it's, a, it's a tool. It's going to break down. So mm. I want people to really take a, take back, sit down, take a look at your your situation, and whatever works for you, it works for you. But if you can come and watch my channel, I can show you how to actually get this money and do it. You know, my way or your way. How you want to do it, but to me, it don't matter where you work at. If you don't deliver the load, you ain't gonna get paid. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, I mean, how how much do you think someone needs to save up to to really start? Okay, so just say you and I are talking and and they 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 took your advice and they they're looking at a company like Prime. They're there for a couple years mm -hmm. now, you know, and mm -hmm. they're like, okay, I feel like I got a hand on this. How much money do you think? the minimum you can really start with to really go buy a truck and do this because a lot of people we're not born with silver spoons you know what i'm saying like you know what are your thoughts about right, that brother right. i'm gonna say between 20 and 30. 20 and 30. That's, 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 to me it's 20 and 30 thousand because it's mm. okay you go buy a truck 10 grand you put 10 grand down okay mm. if you only got 10 grand now you're on pins and needles so if you do 30 you got 10 plus 20 left in the bank for any repairs any uh emergency situations you know i would say between 20 and 30 man that's, you know what I'm saying? that's be comfortable to be comfortable 20 and 30. yeah damn that sounds like a lot of money to me trucking and banking i mean what any strategies to help it people is, out is. there how to save it 20 is. to 30. 
Well, I'm gonna say it like this: You can do the, you can start to do the challenge. You can challenge yourself. Two hundred dollars a week, hundred dollars a week, two hundred dollars a week, whatever, whatever you can put up, man. Just okay. Let's say, man, you get a twelve hundred dollar check. All right, and uh, you put up two hundred. That's even a thousand. Now you got to make sacrifices in anything. You know, you might want to cut back on your eating habits. You know what I'm saying? Because this truck t- truck stop food is no good. You might want to go mm-hmm. buy you some groceries. You know, you can you you can find ways to save money to actually get to your goal. You know, and now just say okay, you don't save twenty thirty thousand. Let's say you got twelve thousand, and you might find a five five or ten thousand dollar truck. Pay cash for it. You own it. That's what's up. That's what's up. No, that's, uh, you know, it's, you know? it's one of those things. It, I just feel like, you know, there, there really is no real number, but the more, the more you could save the, the better chance you have at winning. Right. Right. Oh yeah. The more, the more money you can save, the better off you will be, you know, because we are here making, we, we, we do make good money. Okay. No matter where you work at, it's all good money. It's better money than what you was making before you got into trucking. If if this if that's the case, but you gotta save, man. You gotta save. You gotta be humble, and you gotta understand. Okay, this is what I want to do. This is this is my career. You know, like like all the like singers, singers, actors, act, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> Actresses. They uh they yeah. don't start with a silver spoon. You see what I'm saying? Uh, they gotta work their way up. They ain't gotta save their money. So it's the same thing with trucking, mm. man. You know, it can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. Mm. No, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. So, you know, for everyone out there that's looking at uh making some money, trucking and banking. I love that, man. Trucking and banking, man. Why didn't I think about that, man? Man, I, why didn't I have that slogan, man? I'm over here with my mother truckers, man. Sound like I'm cursing at them. And you over here talking about trucking and banking, baby. So you know, uh, before let that name go a long <laughs> way. Hey, I love it. I love it. So before we get into some Q and A, uh, let me give you the floor on anything you want to speak on or shout out on anything, and then we'll get into some Q and A. All right. All right. I want to shout out my boy Dirty Broke man for for making this happen for the end of my show. Uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, bro. Um, and I and I want to give a shout out to everybody that watch the Trucking the Banking Game, and um. Man, we just love you, man. Peace, you know. That's what's up. And, and the whole situation with that, with the Dirty Broke, shout out to you. Sir, if you're watching right now, shout out to you. And, and you know, Dirty Broke, if you guys don't know, Dirty Broke has a, a YouTube channel as well. And so I actually, you know, I don't do this enough, but let me jump on here real quick. And let me put on Dirty Broke's channel because I got to show people love, you know. Dirty, Dirty Broke told me that you're a really great guy you know what i'm saying oh, and, yeah. and that was, those were his words man and and it's nothing about nothing it's just he co-signed for you man and so when he did that it was like uh, um let me see dirty broke let's go to his channel real quick so dirty broke right here this is his channel right here Right. Y'all see this? Uh, subscribe to my man, a very positive man with over 31 years of trucking experience. And he's just talking about life and just helping people out, man. So definitely uh, time in the game. So dirty broke right there, people. Subscribe to this man. Now, the whole situation is, you know how it go. Um, I want to help everybody win. But the way Dirty Broke was talking about you and talking about your energy and, you know, I saw you on email. I was like, man, I got to get this guy in the show. But Dirty Broke's like, no, you need to get him on soon because this guy <laughs> can help out a lot of people. And I said, you know right. what? Uh, let, let me stop slacking on this. So I apologize right. to you, uh, uh, Josh, no problem, for, no for not, man, you know, no getting you on earlier. But uh, I'm over here. I'm over here thinking about putting up a Christmas video and Dirty Broke like, what the hell are you doing? Christmas video, you better put up trucking and banking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this guy really helping people over here. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Well, that's what's up, man. I appreciate hey. the love, man. I appreciate both of y'all energy, man. Cause you know, we, we all gotta stick it together in this trucking game, man. You know what I'm saying? No matter if you uh, uh making money or you just making a whole lot of money. <laughs> I'm just hey. hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. So let let's get into some QA real quick and see what's going on with that. 
Now, um, one question uh, I saw, uh, someone said they saw the settlement and saw 2600 Is that after all deductions or you, you have to use your field card still, things like that? So they just want a little bit more transparency on that, if possible. Well, well, well that settlement, uh, I didn't have any field cards. Uh, so I just recently got those cards. So I was using the company's card. And uh, the company's discount is hard, but it's only 10 cents. And they charge you three dollars to use the card, and that's the mm. truth. It's the only thing I don't like about it too. It's pure discounts, but uh, mm. everything else is great, great. Good. But I had to still take the truck note out of that because it's gonna come out of my uh, my uh, right. check. So, um, which is about another eight hundred bucks. So, just say roughly about eighteen hundred dollars on it. So eighteen hundred dollars a week, a uh, net. So that's some. So if if someone's uh, an owner or operator, uh, truck it in banking. After all expenses, they should be somewhere around fifteen hundred to two thousand if they're running their business right. What are your that's thoughts? Right. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. I mean, you got you got a lot, a lot of guys say, "Oh, I make this, I make that, man." But you got to actually look at apples to apples. You know what I'm saying? You got to say, "Okay, well, I know my truck note don't my truck note don't come out of my settlement." Just be truthful, man. Don't don't lie to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. you can show four thousand, but then you got okay. an eight hundred dollar truck payment. Now you're down to thirty two hundred. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, right. so I'd rather be rather be truthful with people. Hey, but hey, eighteen hundred a week? Come on now. So you so if you're saying that's on the lower amount of a paycheck, so let's just go easy. Two thousand to twenty five hundred, you make it anywhere between eight to ten grand in the bank a month. Right. And right. doctors got to go to school for a very long time, and lawyers and pharmacists and nurses and people's dude. There's some money in trucking. Now I'm seeing that, man. That's, you know, uh, if, if you guys are watching this, mother truckers, you better know. <laughs> you better know that there's some money out here. You know what I'm saying? And right, so, right. no, I appreciate you for that. So if you guys have any questions, man, this is the time. If you want to learn, because I got, here's a question I got personally. If I'm a company driver and I'm thinking about going owner operator, do you think going the lease game first would be helpful? Or do you think uh, wait up? to pay uh, for that truck cash, what route would you go with someone that's a company driver, you know? I would just save my money and go get my own truck. I, I mean, because the lease, now at least we'll show, we'll at least we'll teach you how to uh, manage your money. Because if we're gonna teach you how to manage fuel, and that's the whole mm. thing, that's the whole thing about the own operator game is, is, is diesel. Mm. No matter how much you get in 65%, 80%, 100%, 90%, whatever. If you overfill your truck, now you you, you know <laughs> you gotta watch it, you gotta watch your money. I heard that. So I would just save my money and buy me a truck, man. You know what I'm saying? Just put me a nice down payment on a truck. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. And okay, because, and then another oh, keep on going, brother. Keep on going. I said, I said, because one thing about it, like Dirty Broke told me, consistent money is better than a getting a check for let's say okay, you got three thousand this week. Okay, then you got fifteen hundred next week, and then you got no check for the next two weeks. But that company driver is still getting 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, you know, whatever he's making a week, he's making that consistent every week. Well, that's what's up. That's what's up. And um, how do you how does one even get good at like booking loads? Like where would you where do you go to learn that? To be honest, like you know, you a company driver coming out the gate, you never uh, mm -hmm. negotiated, you never done none of this stuff your whole life. I mean, right. where where do you go to uh learn that information? You know what I'm saying? Uh you can go on YouTube, um, or you can get on like the Landstar demo. You can do the Landstar demo where they can show you how to work the load board and stuff like that on their load board, but um, it's gonna be kind of hard because you never know, you know, what I'm saying? because you don't have nobody DOT number or user, uh, username or password or stuff like that. Unless you can build a private relationship with a, with a, with a dispatch, they will probably give you information. What I know, they're not gonna give you the information, but um, I don't know, man. It's, it's probably will be hard, you know. So, so it's they gotta. Easy. It is hard. So, so basically, what you're saying is, you you better go watch trucking and banking uh, to learn. If they reach <laughs> out to you now. Um, uh, do you actually take the time to kind of mentor people if they want to learn a little bit about how to find loads and things like that? I do. I do. I do. Uh, I actually put my phone number out there on, on the uh, YouTube. And, oh, do uh, you? Let, let me, me put that out there right oh, yeah. now. What is yeah, it? What is it? 
Jake, what up? This your phone number? <laughs> yeah, yeah, my phone number. You call, you call me right now. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm real, man. You know? <laughs> six oh one. Six, okay, okay. Keep on going. Okay, six nine five. Six nine four nine four nine three three. Four nine three three. Yeah, four nine three. Oh. Yeah, they can call me anytime. I'm twenty four seven. Okay, right there, right there. So, right there, people. Uh, if you guys can text uh, Josh's phone number and put trucking and banking and uh, emoji money sign uh, for my man, so you can show him some love. That's what's up. But now you guys have his phone number, man. So you know, I was able because of the Asian My Show, I was able to get now, nah, man. He's he's showing his number. He's helping people already. <laughs> right, you know, right, that's right. what's up. That's what's up, man. Um, but man. that that's great, man. I I love it because I put my number out there too, and it's just I don't know. Uh, you got good energy. I, I like what you're doing out Appreciate here, brother. Appreciate and, uh, Appreciate you know, that. I'm trying to see if there's any uh, other questions that people might have. Do you guys have any other questions out there? Uh, let my man know because Truck and Bacon, he's a busy man. He's taking time out of time right now just to help us out. So, right. you know, you know, I, you know, people, I, uh -oh, I, people I, say I, they I, call I, you right uh, now. Oh, they call me right <laughs> now. No, ring, ring. <laughs> Hell yeah, they call me, man. You know, it is what it is, man. They just, just wait till we get out the age of my show before you call me, man. You know, don't call me while we're doing, doing a stream right now. Yeah, you that's know. what's up. That's what's up. But here's a big question because you said you did hot shot too. What are your thoughts, yeah. brother? Hot shot or or uh, semi trucks? What should? Where's the now, money at? The semi trucks, the money. The hot shot is tedious. Now, you can make money with the hot shot uh situation because you can actually leverage your money because you can always put some on and take some off going in the same direction which you still can do the same thing but it's more of stops you know what i'm saying you got so many stops you know stop here stop there stop there. But with the hot shot man you might you might be going somewhere it's okay you can get some four grand right four grand going to uh texas okay mm -hmm. you might stop and find something else that's paying a thousand dollars going to Texas. Now you're up to five grand. You see what I'm saying? You can take that out. You might dilute that thousand. You might pick up something that's twelve hundred going to Texas. Now you didn't you didn't double your money. Now you ate six grand. You know what I'm saying? So the hot shot is very good because you can get they can get in, in and out of places that we can't go. For one. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And they can do more. They can home. I mean they can't they can haul more, but it's it's more like you can make more money, pretty quick money. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. No, and, so, and, 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 and some people on paper law, and some people on paper laws with hot shot. Ooh, okay. So I, I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. I remember the paper law game, baby. I I was able to make it everywhere on time. Right. Let me right. see. You know, uh, we in the moving game though. Moving game's easy. You know, uh, this guy right here, he's uh oh, some local game. Local game said I'm taking home thirty five hundred to four thousand. Is that a month or is that a week? I don't know. Are 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 you are you hating on us, owner operators? Are you trying to say that you work harder? What what are we saying here? So I just I'm just putting it out there. Um, local game's hard though. I give respect to local game, man. Loaded, unloaded. I move furniture. This, this shit, that shit's hard. So, you know, no, if you know making money, I know, <laughs> I know this. Yeah, you, you know one thing about that moving game. Oh, you got to get paid. <laughs> you got to get paid. My cut, my cousin paid twenty thousand just to move from Dallas to Mississippi. Twenty k. Oh, hey, you know, I, I'll be honest with you. Um, I do loads. I've, I've, my dispatcher has given me loads for eighty thousand, and I denied them. Because of I knew what kind of hard work it would take to make that eighty thousand gross, you know what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Some of these moves are no joke. You know, I'll be honest with y'all. I probably do like every time I do a load, I get paid anywhere between fifteen to thirty thousand dollars a load, and I'm on the low end. I got homies that get paid twenty to sixty thousand a load, and they do four loads a month. Okay, and uh, yeah, we they they really make get in that money, but. You're going to have to pay for the labor. You're going to have to pay for um, f trying to get your truck in. You know what I'm saying? I right, mean, right. every day. So I, I moved the vice president of Walt Disney, right, Josh? And that mm -hmm. job alone, I had to do like three or four days. 
and I had six people a day. So at the end of the day, I'm paying out almost fifteen hundred to two thousand to eat, you know, two hundred to each guy. I mean, my pocket started fat, and at the end is like this. So <laughs> it's one of those things where, you know, how much I net? I probably net when I'm working. The money sound big, but I net like maybe fifteen G's, twelve to fifteen G's a, a month. And some people be like, "Oh hell no, twelve thousand net a month to do all that work, man. Forget that. I'd rather do six or seven, but be comfortable. So whatever right. makes you happy, people. That's the truth. You know, um, right. there's so many ways to get this money. You know, all Josh and I want you to do is just get your money, man. Grab that bag." and make something that makes you happy because shoot, you've been doing this 12 years. I mean, any advice to people that want to get into the game now, because 12 years ago, it was probably a different game. What are your thoughts, brother? Well, getting into this game right now, um, I would say it's a good time to get into the game because, you know, you don't know, you don't know what the economy is going to do for one, but if you get into the game, you'll be a company driver. So it don't matter what the economy is going to do because you got to automatically get still to pay you. So I'm going to mm. just get into it right now, man. If you're watching these, my show, his show, whatever, or you just watching YouTube or other, other drivers, and you're thinking about getting into this, this game, this business, now you got to understand, this business is hard work. It's nothing easy. Nothing by, nobody going to give you anything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I would do it. I would do it, man. It's the best job I ever had in my life. I don't want to do nothing. I got lazy. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Hey, I'm talking about man. That's what's I up. I love that's it, man. Up. I love it. That's yeah, you got to love what you do. You got you have to love what you do to get your money. No, see, I, I love that, man. Um, you know what's crazy though? Like, there's a lot of haters in this game. Like, they, mm -hmm. what do you think? What what do you think people's personality is like? Why do you think people? Do you think people want others to lose, or do you just think that uh, they're working their ass off and they're not making that type of money, so they just hating. What What are your thoughts about that, man? Because I I see that a lot. Well, the haters, they're gonna hate, <laughs> and, and 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 it's just no way around it. No matter if you can show them you're making a million dollars a week, they somebody's mm. gonna always say, "Well, I'm making three million dollars a week." You know, uh, <laughs> whatever, man. You know, so somebody's just always gonna have a comeback. But one thing about me, man, you know, like like people tell me, I was crazy for getting this truck. Because uh, I leased the truck. Okay, but I did what's best for my situation. You're not driving okay. this truck. You don't have the keys to this truck. So okay. I did what's best for me. So you got to, one more people got to understand. You got to be happy with yourself. Nobody's going to pay your bills but yourself. You see what I'm saying? Mm. And I want people to really understand. Don't worry about the haters. The haters are my motivation. I'm going to get up every day, drive this truck, and make my money. Because I'm going to be landing it. The haters when I'm at the bank, cash get my, at the ATM. Mm. I'm 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 dancing at the ATM. They don't want to know what they, mm. they think I'm crazy when I go to lose or TA. <laughs> like, what's wrong with this fool? Because <laughs> it's Friday, baby. <laughs> oh man, you know. So tell me this. So tell me this. So I I thought okay. this was very interesting because you would recommend most people if they can to cash out on a truck, but in this particular truck you are driving, you said you are leasing this particular one. Is that correct? Right, and yeah, so so is there a reason why um, you you didn't cash out yet and you're leasing? Uh, can you just let us know a little bit about that? Because, you well, know, I know there's a lot of ways to make money. I was just thinking your mindset. That's all. Right. Okay. Well, the, the situation was this. Okay. I went through bankruptcy. All right. And okay. you know how bankruptcy is. And you can't have money in the bank, stuff like that. So uh, I just went on that truck. So I didn't want to cash out, but I didn't have the cash to cash out. So mm. I just, I only put 5K down, $5,000, $35, I drove off the lot. No credit check. Brand new truck. Truck had four miles on it. Zero. Literally four miles. Drove off the lot. Mm. I got 51000 on the truck now, so. No, that's what's up. And so I think this is a, a beautiful for people just to know. You know, trucking and banking wants you to go out and make your own. And if you can... If you can get a cash truck, get a cash truck because I heard that from your own mouth. But like you just and, and I apologize, man. I didn't want to pry too much into your personal, but mm -hmm. dealing with bankruptcies, that's going to make it hard to get a truck. So you doing right. what you can to come back up. Right. 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 True. And and so I, I, I respect that, man. So, you know, trucking bacon over here saying, look, if you could come out and, and buy a truck cash, go do that. 
But if, you, if you're going through some things like life happens because life happens, man, then you got to do what works best for you. That's why I think and you tell me what your thoughts about this are, uh, uh, Josh. Um, people hate on companies like Swift, uh, you know, um, Western Express. But at the end of the day, if you in a situation in your personal life where no trucking company will touch you, but Western Express will. Can you really say right. that's a bad company? Right? No, that's it's not. Best... It's not. I'm not saying it's a bad company because I got a buddy over there right now in the flatbed division. He's yeah, yeah, money. yeah. And see, so, and that's the thing. It's like sometimes the best option, like this is just my opinion. Sometimes your best option is the best option because it's the best option for you. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. So I didn't, you know, so thinking about that, I just think that's dope, man, that you would tell people, look, if you could grab a cash truck, go get a cash truck. But in your particular situation, you're working on some personal things. So that's why you went out and got a lease truck first. And that makes right. sense, man. So that's what's up, man. I, you know, we just have a grown man talk here. That's that's dope, bro. Oh, yeah, I, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You know, it, it, you know, if I had a cash, I would have bought a cash truck. I mean, you, you know, you don't have that kind of cash if you're going through bankruptcy and you're already down and out in, the, in your situation. So where are you going to get that kind of cash? Because guess what one thing about bankruptcy? <laughs> If you had that kind of cash, why are you to pay your bills? You mm. see what I'm saying? So mm. I had to do what's best for me. Now, bankruptcy is destroyed. I'm good. I don't, I, my debt is gone. I don't have any overhead at all. Mm. So no, that's, that's why I'm up. able to afford the truck and able to run and do what I do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just glad the good Lord gave me a second chance at this run because I've been in the guy, like I said, 12 years. It wasn't nothing but the Lord allowed me to get this truck. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And real talk, you know, because some people don't understand business. Mm. Some business is going, some business is going to prevail, some business is going to fail. You know, you know how many people with this COVID right now are out of business and they've been in business 20, 30 years. Yeah, life happens. Life happens. So what 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 do you have to say to people that are are going through bankruptcy right now and feel like uh, there's no way out? I mean, you've been through it. Um, any right. advice for those people? Just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. That's how I can tell you. There's a uh, final ways to pay money because one thing about bankruptcy, they're gonna teach you in the course of um, how much money to save, and you know they got courses on how, like you should you should cut back on eating, you should cut back on going out and stuff like that. Uh, um, you should cut back on um, like clothing, or stuff mm. like that. They, they'll teach you how to actually save money, and uh, that's what that's what you should do. You know, you coming back up, just save your money. You no know, matter if you get two, two, three hundred dollars, save it. You know. Mm. No, that's what's up. That's what's up. And I don't want to pry into your personal, but anything you wish uh, you would have done a little bit different uh, now that you've been through that c scenario. Or was it just completely life happened and that was pretty much what, you know, the end of it? Is there anything well, you think you could have controlled or done different? Yes, I should have. I should have just, I used to, I'm, I'm eating my own words. I should have saved my money. <laughs> just point blank. You know, I should have saved my money. I, I, mean, I was in a situation where I was back against the wall where I was, um, I'm making money at J.B. Hunt. I was at J.B. Hunt. Okay. Not, not 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 to talk down or nothing on them or anything. If you're doing good, they want to buy for Make your money. But for me, I was mm. getting a lot of referrals. I mean, it was paying me a thousand dollars for. I was getting like six, seven referrals every week. Damn. Where was that money was going? Making, if you don't mind me asking, all that you I, know. I blow. I blew it. I blew it. Burn point blank. I blew it. I blew it. You know. And a lot of guys won't tell you that. They just they they won't tell you that. But I blew it. Okay. Um, and I had I had I had more overhead than I had money. You know, you see what I'm saying? See, and then when you're in that situation, when you got more overhead than you have money, you find yourself filing bankruptcy. Mm. And that's what, that's what a lot of people feel to do. They have the house, no, they got the car, no, they got this, they got that. They buying all these buying bundles and all this stuff. Okay, mm. but if you don't never sit down, write it down, take time out your day. To actually see how much money you have actually coming in versus what going out, then you're like, okay, well, I can't do it. I can afford it. Mm. Gotta let some go. You know, uh, so I want I people out here to really win. If you're out here and you're in a bad situation, please, please 
go get some advice or for, uh, you can call me and I'll let you know what's going on and what you should do. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people out here don't know what to do. I feel you. I, I feel you, man. Because I, I feel, Josh, like I was in the same situation. Like I, I felt like I always had to like not flex things, but I felt like I had to have things to feel important. You know what I'm saying? Like my whole life, I've been broke. I've been poor my whole life. So I always wanted something that was mine so that I could let the world know, like, look, I'm a somebody. And that was my own mind. You know what I'm saying? Like that was right. my own mind. I was spending money, let them write, going to the bars. Oh, rounds on me. And then when we look back, no one's buying me drinks back. You know what I'm saying? I got fake friends mm -hmm. around me, you know, and, and when the money stopped, they were gone. You know what I mean? Right. And right. And so I grew up myself like, dude, it's cool. Like having something. Hey, when I look at a car now, I go, what's the warranty on the car? Let me sit in this. Is is the seat comfortable? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not like, mm -hmm. oh, oh, this right here, this is a name brand. It's going to look good on, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, nah. I'd be like, wait a minute. I could get the same car, but mm -hmm. with heated seats for less, I'm going to get that Hyundai right now. <laughs> You know? Right, that's what I'm saying. And, and what it was, I was living above my means. And this, this point blank, I was. Mm. I, I'm not saying I had much, but I had more than what I probably could afford. And mm. and, and and I'm it just comes it's just the truth in me. You know what I'm saying? And I went through it. I I dealt with it. I never let it get me down. Now I came back up. I'm pushing. I'm making good money. So hey, life is great. You know. Hey, I'm I'm happy for you, brother. I'm happy for you. I, I think that's what, you know, we need to talk about more uh, on YouTube in general for truckers is not how to just get the money, but you're going to make money. But you're going to make more money than you've ever made in your life. It's almost like rapper, uh, you know, basketball, sport players. It's like entertainers. They start making money that they've never seen before. And the first thing they want to do is start flexing it, start spending it, start buying moms, everything. And I, I know that's great to take care of family. But you got to take care of yourself, too. And I think, you know, I'm, I'm going to start talking about that a little bit more, too, because you're going to get money out here. But just because you're going to get it, what are you going to do with it? How are you going to flip that right. and make it 10x? Right. You know what I'm saying? And you got to think about it. You got these drivers making all this money, but what are you putting back for taxes? Ooh. What are you putting back for maintenance? You see what I'm saying? What what are you putting back for whatever you, if the truck break down? You know, uh, or what are you putting back for your wife bills or your old lady bills, your kids, what are you putting back? Because you, like I say, you can make $5,000 a week. Next, by next week, you ain't got but $2. You might got a problem. Mm, mm, you know, it's, it's one of them things, Josh, where it's like, you know, out here, we sacrificing a lot of time. And I, I, I think that's almost the gift and the curse of trucking over the road is you out on the road two to three months, so when you get home, you want to buy your kids. You want to show your wife all this money you trucking and banking and doing, and then that becomes a problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That becomes a problem. Yeah. So, you know, for all you guys, uh, you guys and gals watching this, just know you are gonna make some serious money out here. But just oh, know, yeah. like, how are you gonna how are you gonna flip that and how are you gonna keep it? You know? Right. Yeah, and, and, you know, it's a lot of guys that got problems with saving. I was one of them. You know, but I talked to my CPA, which I got a, you know, I got a count. And he said, hey, man, just, just take your time and uh, just if you can put $5, $20, $10, whatever you can put up, man. Just, see, can, just challenge yourself to see can you hold that to the next week, to the end of the month, to the rest of the year. Mm. He said, just challenge yourself because, mm. like I said, you, that's like that, that pay stub, 2600 okay? Take the truck note out, you're going to leave you by 1800 Now, mm. the truck note, you, you know, now this but whatever you got to pay that and then you got to say okay well damn I, I i need to live for me i gotta have me a couple dollars i gotta take my old lady out you know do what i gotta do for her you know right. but you you spend you start you spending spinning 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 spin, and you're not saving 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 and that can come up becomes a problem a major problem man you know you write a shoe you write about that and i think the big one that people need to start having conversations with is their partner you know i don't care who your partner is but you need to sit down with your partner for real, for real, and have that real conversation. Like, look, baby, I know it looked like I'm making twenty thousand a, a month, okay? But it mm -hmm. ain't twenty thousand dollars a month. I need you to help me hold this down. 
because that was my problem. Now I'm, I'm talking my own life. You know, I could only speak for myself. I was telling my girl, baby, I was made, I made 30,000 on this low, baby. We got this. Next thing you know, what's she doing at home? Spending all the profits. Why? Because I put that in her head. I put right. that in her head that we're winning. You know what right. I'm saying? She's going out buying Gucci bag and coach. And then next thing you know, I get home and I'm like, wait a minute. It wasn't 30,000. I had to pay labor. I had to pay fuel. Shoot. I broke an expensive painting. Okay. Next thing you know, that 30,000 was really 8,000. But Damn. my girl just spent 5,000 on shopping. You know what Damn. I'm saying? Yeah. And so I think that's an issue that you need to have some, I don't care who your, your partner is, whoever that is you love for real, make sure that they are on board and they understand what you're doing out here. You know, there's a game plan, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you and I have been out here about the same amount of time, Josh. And it's mm -hmm. like, I was a fool. I only started game planning with my girl about four years ago. Imagine if I did this for the other six. Man, we would have so much damn money in the bank. You know, I wouldn't even have to truck drive no more. But no, I still got to go truck drive. I still got to, you know what I'm saying? And right, so, right, yeah. you know, it's, Man, it's, it's crazy. I, I want to retire. I, I, when I get ready to retire, I don't want to have to be working, going, trying to find a job or, or just something to do. You know, I want to I want retire and, and, and travel, man, and have go on vacations and live good, comfortable, you know? And Hell yeah! If, if, if you keep spending, because I, I talked to this uh, lady at Walmart, man, she's eighty. What no? She's like seventy-four years old. She's still just stood up at the door, or whatever. She looked good, but she said, "You know mm -hmm. what?" She said, "I've been, I, I made good money all my life." And she's from Chicago, and she said, "She come, she moved to Mississippi, and she was it was hard for her to find a job, or whatever, you know." And she says. But spent all her life savings. Now she got to work at Walmart. I don't want to live like that. Man, and shoot, hey, and that's real because you know you guys put this in the comments, okay? If you if you're not embarrassed to put it in the comments, all you mother truckers out there right now, if you got hurt and you couldn't truck drive right now, how much money really coming in a month? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I'm sorry to say no disrespect to nobody, but as truck drivers, we're doing that sweat equity, you know, and that sweat equity is whatever you physically work for, you make. And so right. we need to get on that corporate America money and get that passive income, right? right. You got to take that money from what you're making from trucking and have that money start making you money, right? I don't care what it is, real estate, stocks, I don't give a shit, a YouTube channel, but I'm sorry, man. Most of us out here, when we don't truck drive and we get hurt, something happened, you making zero dollars, okay? Zero and that's dollars. no disrespect. Zero dollars. And then your ass is going to work at Walmart too. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's that's the road that everyone's headed, you know? Right. Yeah. And, and so, and I, yeah. go ahead, brother. I said, and then you got, you got to talk about your kids. If you're having it. You see what I'm saying? What are you going to leave them? What if, you, what if, like I said, what if you get off this truck, you fall off the top step, and you break your collarbone, you break your leg, hip, whatever? What you gonna do? Mm. How the mm. truck payment is gonna get paid, or you got the cash truck? How you, the insurance is gonna get paid? You know how you gonna pay your light water gas? You know you gotta work mm. with a cop out here, but that's only gonna last for so long. Mm. You know? That's legit, man. That's and so I don't want to pry into your business, but okay. uh, what game plan are you working on? So that when you don't, when you get out of this truck, that money's get, gonna start I, coming. I want to get into real estate and open up a car lot. That's 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 my dream. That's what I want to do. I want to buy a house and flip them and sell them and run them out. That's what I want to do. Oh, you know, hey, you know, I'm a little bit. I'm not an expert, but I'm in the real estate game a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And so I'll tell you guys this right now. Everyone can apply for their first home and get an FHA loan, and only got put down three point five percent. Now, just notice, everybody, when you get this FHA loan, there's one rule. You got to buy a single family home. But a single family home in the definitions of the real estate game is a single, a duplex, a triplex, or a fourplex. So you could actually go out with 3.5% down, go buy a fourplex, rent out three of them, live in one, 
and then repeat, rinse and repeat. I got homies that own five, six fourplexes, and they just chilling. And you could do that with 3.5% down. And I'm going to keep it real that people that don't know, when I was 28, I'm 35 now, I owned, what, 16 units. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, my house is, is like, it was cashed out. I bought my mom a house cash. I did all this. And you know what? I made a mistake. I took all my money. I took that extra 300000 while I had, Josh. And I mm-hmm. bought my parents a house in Texas. And I felt so good about myself. I was feeling good. But guess what? I was out of money. And when I was out of money, guess what happened? Now, mm-hmm. I can't leverage that money. And at the end, how am I going to help my family if I got no more money? Because money is a tool for leverage. Right. So that's the problem I had. And that's the problem a lot of sports people have. And anyone that comes up on some money. I sold all my properties, came out with 300000 cash. Bought my parents a house, felt so good about myself, but now I had no more money to make me more money, see? Right. And so I don't want you guys to go down that same road and, and start doing these things for your family and your kids right away. Don't do that. Make sure you put that stuff into things that will actually make money so that right. it will just rinse and repeat itself, you know what I'm saying? Right. And and right. that's it'd what like, that is. It'd be like, it'd basically, be like bulletproof, <laughs> you know? Hey, that's what it is. That's what it is. Alfonso, I don't know who you are, but I love you with all my heart. I don't know what people know this. It's my boy. It's my homeboy, man. <laughs> oh, is that your homeboy? It's my homeboy. Damn, man. that's what's up. Hey, I'll be honest with you. Like, I am really trying to become a YouTuber. I will put that out there right now. Like, if I can make $4,000 every month from YouTube, from sponsors I care about, from things like that, I'll be happy. You know what I'm saying? Right. Can you imagine, like, if I could do this every day and make $4,000 a month or something like that? That would be crazy. You know what I mean? Like, helping people yeah. while talking about trucking. that That's my yeah. dream job, Josh. So your game plan is to do car lot and real estate. My game plan yeah. is it's going to sound kind of stupid, but I want someone 20 years from now to be like, hey, Alex, I want you to meet someone. I'd be like, who? And they'd be like, you got me into trucking. And then now my son got into trucking from me talking about you. And now his son got into trucking because he watched you. I want to do this shit for life, bro. You feel me? Like, like this is my purpose, man. I don't, I don't give a shit what nobody say. This is my purpose right here. You know? Yeah, I, I want to do I want to be a YouTuber too. Don't get me wrong. Cause you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I like I had like 700 subscribers. I'm over, I'm at 16, over 16, 59. And like yeah. within less than, than a month. Yeah. Hey, you know, you know why? Because you got 12 years of experience. People could hear it in your voice. Like, dude, this dude know. And I'm t- I'll be honest with you. You look like you 18 to me. So when you say 12 <laughs> years of experience, I mean, you look, you look young, bro. Like Appreciate you look, it, I know Asian. I mean, I'm supposed to with Asians. It's like, wait a minute. He's either 21 or 162. Like, I'm not sure how old Alex is, but you know what I'm saying? But I'll tell you this much, people. When I hit, like, 60, I'm going to look a thou wow, okay? I'm going to have wrinkles on wrinkles on wrinkles, okay? I'm going to look like that little old lady shaking like this, you know? So that's the Asian thing. Once we hit, like, 60, we look like a 1,000. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, man. But, you know, like I, like, I, like I tell people, man, it's all about what you put in what you get out, man. You know, it's just you got to put in the work. You got to work. I, I want to work hard and then enjoy my labor, my fruits with my with my labor later on down the line when it comes time. Because a lot of guys yeah. are like, man, you don't want to go on vacation. You don't want to go out and enjoy yourself. I said, man, I have time for that when I'm turning 65. <laughs> you mm. know what I'm saying? I have time for that. If the Lord allowed allow me to live to see that. But right mm. now, we're going to truck and bike, baby. That's what we're going to do. Hey, that's what's up, man. And I want to answer this question. You know, uh, was mm-hmm. it uh, Riggs Rod says, why doesn't my ever drive? Uh, I'm a mover. So uh, I used to work seven to eight months straight and take a few months off. But now that I'm doing a little bit better and I want to be home with my family more, I'll work six months straight on the road during the summertime when it's time to do trucking and banking. And then winter when it's very slow and the money's less, I'd rather stay home with the family. So you know, for people that are new subscribers watching, yes, I am a truck driver, and yes, I am hitting the road. It's just that I take six months off, and I do six months on, 
And since we always talk about money, full disclaimer, mm-hmm. six months on, I'm probably grossing about 150, 170. And I put in my pocket maybe about 60 or 70. And I'm happy with that. Mm-hmm. I'm happy with 60 to 70,000. You know, for six months of work, shit. I was working as assistant manager at Walgreens, Josh. And uh, mm-hmm. I was making 55,000 for the whole year, bro. So if I can make 60,000 for working six months, buy back time, people. Buy back time. Make yourself happy and buy back some time. That's why I always tell people, man, like, you know, what, what are your thoughts about time in this life, in this world, brother? Hey, my thoughts on my time, man, is just, just keep grinding, man. Just, I would just keep, keep trucking it back and keep grinding. And, like, a lot of people don't understand. Okay, just because you lease a truck, that don't mean that you can't take off the winter or whatever. If you got your money, just like you're doing, if you got your money right, you got that kind of cash in the bank or bread in the bank, I can do the same thing. So it's all about time. It's all about how you want to do things. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to say it like this, man. If you're able to make all you can, why not? You see what I'm saying? Hey, why not make I all you can? It. I love it, man, because there's one thing that's true. Because one day I was stressing hard. I was at the gym working out, and this dude was like, damn. Alex, man, you work it hella hard. You swear I go, man, I'm so damn stressed out. I just got to work this shit off. And I'm at the gym working out. And he he looked at me and go, bro, whatever your problem is, in 100 years, you ain't going to have that problem. And I, I sat back and thought about that. I was like, you damn right in 100 years, I ain't going to have that problem. You know what I'm saying? So right. people just know, man, in this life, I don't care if you're religious or not, you got a solid uh 80 years okay well 100 if you're lucky 80 years okay mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. just just do something with it and the thing i'm working on is stop stressing about shit i can't control you know what i'm saying josh like i'm right. always I'm stressing about dude i'm always stressing about stuff i can't control i mean what what do you say about that brother how, how you deal with that i give i give it up to the good lord man that's what i do i i, mm. I, I, I pray about everything man you know, mm. I, I pray. I pray every day that the good Lord would good man and, and bless up my food. Every, everything I do, man, I pray about it before I even mm. indulge in anything I do. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, yeah, man. Yeah. I, I I don't stress that people got no wrinkles. <laughs> Cause I don't let nothing worry me, man. You know? Was that come with time though? Uh, I mean, you, you know, you put that faith in religion, but does that come with uh, growth? As a man, as we get older, did you just learn that, or is that something that was instilled in you? No, it was instilled in me since day one. Uh, when I was a child, and I used to see, well, but when I was a child, man, I, I basically I had a silver spoon in my mouth. I had got everything I wanted, you know, I was four. But when you become a man and put on these shoes and these pants, <laughs> shit just got real. <laughs> I just played, you know, for real. It just got real. And I just, I, I just yeah. pray about everything, man. I don't, I don't. There's one thing about it, man. The God, the good Lord will let you go through things to see what He wants you to see. You see what I'm saying? Mm. He will. He will. He will let the so-called devil step in and put you in something block. Now you gotta say, okay, damn, well I overcome this, but now I gotta overcome this. So I just, I just mm. keep pushing. I keep progressing every day, and I'm doing great. Uh, financially, I'm doing great, and and my now my health, I'm worried about my health. Not not not, okay. not saying nothing's wrong, but like I said last night, I'm alive. You can have all the money. You can have that three hundred thousand you just talked about, but if mm. your health ain't hitting on two 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 cents, <laughs> you know what what's the money gonna do you? Mm. You know, and and you know what? Now I'm probably prying personal a little bit, but we if we're talking about health here, uh. What what makes you want to switch up your health? I mean, what are, what made you want to do that? Well, I, I I'm a diabetic type two, okay. and scared the hell out of me. I'm just, I'm, a, I'm not I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> you know. And I know I had some bad eating habits, and uh, I want to change that. I want to lose weight because man, look, I see a lot of guys out here only getting six month cards, uh, ninety day cards. You know what I'm saying? You should be able to get a two-year card every year. And I just got a two-year card, but how, who's to say next year that I get a six-month? I don't get a two-year card. You see what I'm saying? So, and, you know, the problem is these truck stops. That's the problem. I'm, I'm being real straight up. The problem the food at truck stops. 
No, I feel like you, you, sometimes you don't have time to cook your food. Sometimes you don't have time mm. to prepare. You want to go ahead and get ready with something and keep mm. riding. But you got to have self, self discipline to actually go and probably just sell it or probably make something to eat or something like that. I worry about my health, man. It, it, you know, I'm only 31 years old. I don't want to be 500 pounds or 400 pounds before I'm 32. Okay. You know, right now I'm I sitting about 379 pounds. Right now. Okay. That's too. That's that's way too big. Mm. Mm. And you, no, and you just riding and eating, riding and eating. You know, <laughs> sleeping. That's it. So I want to get out the truck more. I want to be home more. And what's that's why what I'm gonna try to implicate in my situation of this truck, so I can work out. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm gonna try to do. No, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. You know, I, I, I wish you the best on that, man. We're, you know, food is like the craziest thing, man. I mean, it's the biggest addiction that I have personally. It's like I look at stuff and I'm like, I'll be in a corner just wanting to eat it. You know what I mean? And so it, it's a tough one, man, for me as well. And uh, someone has a, a question on this. Maybe you could uh, highlight this a little bit. When you talked about these, uh, uh, your, your cards, your, your medical card, for people that are new into trucking, everyone has to have a, a medical card to be able to know that you're healthy enough to drive a truck. So someone asked, mm -hmm. how's the diabetic, how is he diabetic and pass his medical? So can you explain that a little bit for other people that might uh, be on the brim of healthy, unhealthy per se, and how, how they could do that? Uh, because that's messing up with them working. I was taking my, I take my medicine and I had, Great blood pressure. A lot of a lot of people don't have good blood pressure. When you're diabetic and, and you have bad blood pressure, you're not. They're not going to give you a two year. It's not. There's no way. My blood pressure is perfect. Perfect, and I passed. So uh, I didn't have much sugar in my urine. You know, and a lot. That's another thing. You know, that's how you, that's how they can tell that you're a diabetic because you have sugar in your urine. So if you take your medicine and you drinking a lot of water. You're not on the pops and all this other stuff. You know, eat a lot bunch of bread and starch and stuff like that. Then you 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 should be okay, you know. Okay, okay. No, that's what's up. So, because there's a lot of people that, that you you might um, not be sure if you can qualify to drive a truck, and so if you want to know someone that is uh, working with this and going through it, subscribe to Life of Josh. You know, he's he's doing a lot of stuff over there, and he's just being real. I like that you're real, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I like it. that you're Appreciate transparent. It. Um. You know, I'm not here to target you and talk about, you know, any negative things, but it's like you're talking about your health. You know, you're talking about your losses. And I think that's great, man. I, I It's it's uplifting to know that uh, you can, you know, we're all human beings, man. Not everyone on here is just winning straight up, right? We're, there's something that everyone wants to be a little bit better at. So that's awesome, okay. brother. You know, that's, that's what's up, man. So looking at this. At the end of the day, is there anything that you want to leave people with? Because, you know, I, I would like you on the channel again, but, you know, I, I want you to be able to talk about anything that you want to talk about because I'm about showing love and I, I want to oh, show yeah. you love and I want you to win, man, any way possible. If you oh, tell yeah. me you want to be a YouTuber, then, you, you know, you got the energy for it. Uh, you got the oh, experience. Yeah, I do. So, <laughs> I do, man. You know. I, want, I want to be a YouTuber because I, I got a buddy that he's making – he got like 10 million subscribers on one channel. He got six channels. And he got, I think one, one channel got 5 million, another channel got 6 million. Uh, he, he's very, he's making over, he makes some serious cash. Oh, I can serious imagine. Cash. He's, he's a straight imagine. YouTuber. He don't work nothing. Wow. It's wow. YouTube. Shoot. Dang, that's what's yeah. up. That's what's up. So, you know, at the end of it, I'll give you the floor for a couple minutes, whatever you want to talk about. You know, for okay. the people that are in here, you want to shout out anything at the very, very end, uh, I'll give you the floor for a little bit. And then, uh, you know, if you want to answer some questions, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'll give I, you the floor. I answer some questions. I, I answer some questions, man. But, you know, we all, we all got to stick together, man. We all got to stick together and do what we need to do, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, man, it's all about what you, like I said, what you put in and what you get out. So I want everybody to win. There's no, there's no this. I'm not hating on nobody. Hatred is for people that, that don't want to see you succeed. You see what I'm saying? It's, that's what it is. So let's keep pushing. If you got people hating on you, you got family members hating on you, you got you got uh, other children hating on you, just keep pushing. You don't have to prove them wrong. Prove yourself right. 
You see what I'm saying? So I want everybody to just take time out, assist your situation. If you want to be in a better situation, just give me a call. We can talk about it. We can, you know, we can we can put you where you need to be if I have that connection. So, and that's it, man. You know, I want everybody to succeed, man. Please do good. Hey, hey, that's the uh that's that's a great way to end everything man just to see people win but brother so you know I, i'm really happy to have you on the show i appreciate you for people that don't know that are jumping in here maybe a little late we're here we're chilling you know subscribe to my man dirty broke he's in the house uh but let's go and let's subscribe to my man you know He's doing a lot of stuff. He's trucking and banking over here, people. So it's just one of them things. He's going live. He's doing a lot of things like this. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, right. let me show your channel. Let me, what's going on here? Let me go over to your main channel real quick. You know, he's doing live streams. How many times do you do your live streams? Like uh, every, every day? day or every Every day, every day, man. Every day, I do live streams more, more than I do uh, uploads. <laughs> that's what's up, man. So I, I see yeah. more revenue with the live streams than the that's, uploads. Hey, I mean, but you know, hey. you pay more off the ads, so you know. Hey, I'm telling you, man. You you about making your money, man, and I I love that, man. I love that. You know, I I, I there's a lot of people out there that don't think money's important. It is important, but as long as you just know it's a tool, right? Right. That's what I tell people, man. Use what you got to get what you want. <laughs> Wait up. Say that Use one more got. time. Use, Use what, what you, you got <laughs> to get what you want. Huh? I'm putting I'm putting on a shirt. Uh, the Asian My Show just made that up. Use what you got yeah. to get what you want. Okay, I'm putting it right now. The Asian My Show thought of that quote, <laughs> and I'm taking it. So uh, for now on, I'm going to be like, what's going on, mother truckers? We out here trucking and banking. Use what you got to get what you No, I'm just playing. I get, I'm messing yeah. with you, man. I'm and I, with hey, you, the the broke say you know say he the broke got this one right here truck and banging in at home. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. That's hey. Overall, I really appreciate you for jumping on the show. No uh, thank you for bringing value to the show. And anytime you sure. want, uh, jump on again. You know, uh, I'd love to have you. So have a great day Merry and Christmas. happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, too, man. all that stuff, man. And uh. I'll talk to you next Peace time, out. brother. All right, man. Heck yeah, All man. Right. Peace. Yep. Mother Trucker. So we're out here. We're at the Mecca Chrome Shop. We're hanging out. Thank you so much to everybody that watched the show. I appreciate you, Dirty Broke, for being in the house, for doing that. Thank you, Alfonso, for the super chats. You know, I, I appreciate you so much. You didn't have to do that. Um, I, I love you all. I, I wish you all uh, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. I hope that you guys are getting everything that you want out of trucking, but it's just one of those things that I, I just want you guys to win. That's the biggest thing. You know what I mean? And that's why we do this show. Big shout out to the funding booth, uh, my partners, uh, big shout out to truck miser, my other partner. And if you guys want to hang out and see me, we're out here, man. So you can see uh, we're at the Mecca Chrome shop. Uh, text me seven, eight, six, three, five, three, five, six, seven, four. Come to the uh, Mecca Chrome Shop at the 595 Truck Stop. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I thank you all. To all the moderators, I saw you in here, RLC TV. Anyone else that I missed, I do apologize, but I love you so much. Oh, real quick, before I go, okay, this is like a, a, a sister to me, okay? So, uh, Pania is a sister to me. She's a, a family, and if you guys get a chance, uh, she's trying to make it on YouTube as well. And she's not trying. She's doing. She's doing an amazing job, and she's uh she she's helping people uh, learn how to cook and bake. And I love all her stuff. So let me let me show her some love real quick. Give me a second, people. So uh, let me see this real quick. Uh, So for all you mother truckers out there, uh, Pania's Pantry, I got to find it. Where is your YouTube channel, Pania? Why did I put Panera? It's Pania. Give me a second. See that comes up. There it is. Pania's Pantry. 
this is a, this is like a sister to me. So if you guys get a chance, you guys like food, you like all this, uh, check her out, man. She's a very beautiful person. Uh, her and her man, uh, great people. Her son, amazing. Just a beautiful family. So check her out, Panias Pantry. Uh, you know, I want everyone to win. Before I jump out of here as well, if there's anyone else that has a YouTube channel, uh, let me know and I will shout it out right now. I want to show you guys love. RLC TV has a YouTube channel. Let's let's look at RLC TV's YouTube channel. He's doing real estate. He's doing a lot of stuff. He came over the other day to our studio, and he uh, he was helping out, teaching people things and teaching people about um, real estate. So check this out. RLC TV in the house. Boom. You guys subscribe. You know we're we're here, man. We're everyone has a story to tell. And so if anyone has a, a YouTube channel or anything like that, I like to see people win, man. So Trucker Curtis, you have a YouTube channel? All right, let me see. Trucker Curtis YouTube channel. You know, let, let's show the love, baby. A lot of people, uh, they don't get, really help people and show love. Let's let's show them out, man. So Trucker Curtis, uh, let me see if this is you. Let, let's look at this. Trucker Curtis. I hope you pop up right away. Let me see. Trucker Curtis. All right. Subscribed. Boom. So you're out here doing stuff. Trucker Curtis subscribed for weekly vlogs. That's what's up, people. I'm telling you. Let's show everybody what's up, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at these great thumbnails. I wish I had great thumbnails. So my man's doing a lot of stuff here. He's getting some views as well. So there it is, man. Merry Christmas to you, Trucker Curtis. Let me see. Let me see. Let me jump back on. I don't, Maybe I didn't show it. Can you guys see the screen? Trucker Curtis is here. Look at that. Trucker Curtis. He's doing live streams and everything. You know, great thumbnails. You know, Merry Christmas, Trucker Curtis. Hopefully me shouting you out will give you maybe. A little bit more subscribers. I I know, I know, I know how it is. You know. But overall, people, we we just about showing love. That's what we do. Uh Calvin Leak. So Calvin Leak is someone dirty broke tells me to get on the show. Let's look at Calvin Leak's channel uh, real quick. Calvin Leak. Let's look at that real quick. Calvin Leak. All right, Calvin Leak has a lot of experience. He's teaching people about a lot of things. I believe uh, he's with uh, Landstar. So he's doing a lot of Landstar stuff. He's owner-operator as well. He has a fleet. He has all these things. So if you guys get a chance, Calvin Leak, definitely look at subscribing, man. I got to get him on the show too. But yeah, that, that's what we do. You do a little something? Mob Entertainment? Okay, let me see. Let's look at this mob in mob ENT. Do I look up mob ENT? Uh, Millennium Trucker, uh, Millennial Trucker, are you on YouTube as well? Shout out to you! Shout out to you! You know what I'm saying? Uh, Asia Mai barbecue tomorrow. There will be a lot of food service drivers there. Oh, that's what's up, man. I gotta, I gotta go see RLC TV, man. That that's what's up. Uh, you know, let's see, uh, mob, mob entertainment, millennial trucker, you know, all these people, man, they have YouTube channels. Let's look up mob entertainment. Let's show some people some love real quick. Come on. Come on. You guys stay. Think about, uh, um, subscribing to people. You know what I mean? Show people love, man. That's what we do. Mob entertainment. Is this you right here? Mob entertainment. I'll subscribe. I think it's you. So, you know, you doing a little something? Is this you right here? Hey, I see some trucking. I see some trucking. I appreciate you for watching. Merry Christmas, Mob Entertainment. You know, I know I'm not doing enough for the subscribers, but, you know, this this is something that I just love to do. I just love showing people love, man. But overall, people, uh, I love you all. I appreciate you guys. I'll, I'll jump back on soon. Uh, thank you. If you guys need anything from uh, the Mecca Chrome shop, let me show you guys this real quick. I don't know. Give me one second.
You guys have helped me get to the point where we're, we're doing stuff at Chrome shops and things like that. Let me let me take off this green screen. We're at the Chrome shop. We got this. We got the little TV. So we got a TV going on here. You know what I mean? And then we got a little lounge. And so that's what we're doing out here, people. You know, I'm back here. Got my little green screen. Got my computer laptop. So yeah, we're out here really doing this, man. And the cool thing is the Mecca Chrome shop, uh, they'll give you guys a discount for all the HMI show subscribers. So, you know, look at that. So. Hey, that's what we're doing. But. Ah. Overall, I appreciate you all, man. I appreciate you all. Shout, shout me out. Cal California Insurance. Let's go. Cal Insurance uh, could help out with new authority. All right. All about trucking. There, there's your shout out. That's what's up, man. But overall, I, I appreciate you guys. I, I thank you. I love you. And we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for supporting me to getting me to this, uh, helping me get to this situation now where we're at a studio. What truck or YouTube got a studio, man? And you guys helped me get here. So I appreciate you guys. And I love you guys. Merry Christmas. And we'll be back tomorrow with another video. I'm going to do my best to keep on these, getting these interviews. Who knows? Um, maybe one day I'll see one of you guys on the road. Uh, no, I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much, guys. I thank you so much. I love you guys. Peace out, man. We'll be talking soon, huh? What's up, other truckers? You are now.